Students are still at home and school is still in session. Schools are doing everything they can to keep students caught up even though they're out of the classroom. When students have trouble with their work, they're more than likely to look to the next adult figure in their life for help, their parent or guardian. Academics change every year, so adults in the household are likely to struggle too. What can parents do to help their children excel in academics while they're at home? The curriculum kind of walks through how to do some of those higher level skills, especially when you're looking at things like middle school math. You know, that's something that I think a lot of us would probably struggle with. Um, but also our teachers are available during their regular school hours. Parents are able to check in on their, their children's uh, teachers' web pages and there's some, some enrichment activities there. We know that this is no vacation. Students need to do what they can to finish out the school year, so schools are bringing the classroom to the homes of students to accomplish that requirement. The enrichment packet should be things that, that students um, are comfortable and able to do. Um, it will help them just keep their skills sharp um, while the district is moving into our planned instruction phase. We were very fortunate enough to have had the foresight to purchase the digital components for our technology already. Um, so students are able to access materials the same way that they would in the classroom. These tools are also provided at the Erie Public Elementary Schools for Erie School District students and at Erie Rise for students that attend Erie Rise Leadership Academy Charter School. But what are some other ways parents and guardians can keep learning in the daily lives of their children? The number one suggestion that schools are making to keep your child's skills sharp while at home is to read. Um, if you're reading them a story or they're reading to you, that's going to help with their reading comprehension and their fluency. And it's something that you can do in the home with, you know, kind of whatever resources you have around. Um, and think of this more as, as an opportunity for experiential learning. So say if you're making dinner, letting the kids get involved, reading the recipe, coming up with the measurements, asking, you know, what's bigger, one half of a cup or three quarters of a cup. Um, something like that is going to help keep the kids' brains engaged with the things that they're doing at home. I know this is a difficult time. I would say keep your children reading, um, make time to go outside every day, play board games, um, cook with your children, go for walks. And by the end of the year, students and parents will be anxiously waiting to hear if their child passed to the next grade. Graduating seniors will also want to know whether or not they'll have a chance to walk across the stage. The district right now is really talking about how to make the end of the school year um, the best it can be for students. Um, this interruption with, with the coronavirus is not going to um, be what, what causes a child to be held back. So the district's really going to be putting some information out in the next few weeks to let parents know um, what are the things that they can do to help their children while we're still on this this break. We are following what the governor is saying and, and at the end of the day ultimately I just hope that um, the people making those decisions can make decisions that benefit the majority of the students in our state. The district will be communicating with um, the seniors letting them know what's coming up what they need to do in order to meet their graduation requirements um, what's going to go on with all the graduation activities so that should be forthcoming from the district. Odessa Meredith, your Erie.com.